Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Renegade Ferret. <laughs> I am doing something I have never done before, which is a single-player walkthrough with commentary. Or, not a walkthrough so much as just a playthrough. Why am I doing this? I'm not hoping... I'm not thinking anybody's going to watch this, but... Uh, what am I playing? As you could probably read from the title, The Witcher. The original Witcher. I have never played this. It came out like five or six years ago. The only reason I'm going to play this is because I hear the second one is freaking awesome. I hear this one. Uh, I, I watched like one review saying this one, the combat's kind of stupid and it's got some elements I'm not going to like. We'll get to more of that later. But I uh, say play this one before the second one because you'll get some nice bonuses and it will be a better experience. <sighs> So, in order to spice up this, what I'm assuming is going to be a not, oops, sorry there, a not incredibly awesome playthrough for myself, I, I figured I might as well just try and give a shot at talking through it. I don't know, maybe that'll make it a little more interesting for me. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and start watching the intro video. I know nothing of this game right now, really, uh, just a little few minor things, so let's get started. See how this goes. And I do have the director's cut version, enhanced edition, uh, whatever. I don't know the whole difference. I guess there's some DLC in there. I I couldn't. I can't tell you anything. This is my first time playing this without any clue of what's going on. So okay, Bioware. That's good for this type of dialogue game. Here's the intro video. I don't know if I should be quiet so you can understand what's going on. I'm guessing so because you're. You're probably watching this because you don't want to play it and you His just want to watch it. Geralt of <laughs> so that's our hero, Geralt of Riviera. He was a witcher. He a was a witcher. Monster slayer. An unusual contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess. Dusk till dawn. All right. She were not a deadly beast, a striga. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait. Ooh, get a little revenge here. I, I, I really, I had <laughs> the urge to clear that up, tell you what's going on, but really, I hope I don't need to. That's, that'd be really bad. Stay in school, folks. I really don't want to do commentary, just stating the obvious for 20 hours. And I hear potions are part of this game, so he just drank one to get uh, wrinkles, become an old man. That's what the princess likes. <laughs> Was that Kratos? I hate God of War. Oh, I hate it. And down in the dungeon is a uh, crypt or a coffin. Out with the bait. I honestly, I don't know why he's just taking off running. I would just stay there. <laughs> but whatever. It's gotta be cinematic. Nice little draft indoors there. They didn't invent windows yet with glass. And here's the bit where they're going to show us a little bit about everything we can do. <laughs> I, I, I don't, there's just something about fights like that that is not appealing to me. You'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, it's cool to have a great fight scene, but... But when they get into, oh, we're going to show off every little thing. Like, they showed his potions. Oh, that's cool. I get to use potions. He's a good hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter. Great. Maybe we'll get to use a chain. 
I really don't know, but it it it, it just really feels like they're they're giving us a quick demo of all the cool things we can do when we play this game. Even though the combat is a lot less bland than that. I'm a I'm a shooting game player, I'm a fighting game player. I, I like I like playing games where I control the action. Like Guild Wars 2's on the horizon. That interests me. World of Warcraft, no. I want to control my guys. I want to fight like that. Not just point and click stuff like simpleton stuff. So we get to use magic. Woohoo! That's what they're. That's what this little bit's telling us. You'll get to use this fire spell non-stop. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Now what I'm thinking he's gonna do is take out a little dagger or something as that thing jumps up, just jump straight off, land on the ground on top of that thing. No, he just punches it straight out of the air and defies all the physics and goes knocking back to the ground. <laughs> so now we also get to use a sword. Awesome. Swords are just so cool. But yeah, that's it. That's that's what I'm talking. I just it doesn't appeal to me this little fight scene because I mean he, right, he, right off the bat he starts out by just throwing a little rock at the thing to get its attention. I would have just stabbed it in the back or something. Why even bring out that bait? You know that guy for bait if you're not even really gonna go in for a surprise attack. You're just gonna sneak up on the thing and fight face to face anyway. But whatever. So now he walks into the. Uh, Little coffin area. Is he doing some alchemy or something? Oh, I get it. Okay, I didn't get it the first time. He, uh, I wasn't really fully paying attention. He's waiting for that princess to go back to humanish form to take care of her then. So I don't even know what the point in this whole fight scene was other than to demonstrate again. <laughs> yeah, very... Just not making a whole lot of sense right there, this whole cutscene now. It looks great, by the way. I mean, that looked well. It was pre-rendered, but though gravely wounded, the Witcher lifted the curse and gained fame. The world changed with the coming of the Great War, the time of the sword and axe, the time of disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story. Huh. Okay, maybe. Okay, so maybe he had to do something to make that monster, uh, like, be hit by the the alchemy or potion or whatever. I don't know. Whatever spell he was doing, turn back to a human. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Bottom line is he gained some fame, and then as time went on, he uh, just kind of disappeared. So here we are, main menu. Let's go ahead and do a new game. We've only got about half an hour before i got to go. So let's see here. Play with your adventure through a dark world. There's no good or evil, just choices and their consequences. Play one of the new adventures, each with each of which tells a singular story based on the world of characters of The Witcher. Huh, well, looks like this is what we're going to want. Um, uh, see, I don't want hard. 
I don't know if I want to go medium or easy. I really kind of want to go easy because, I mean, I like I said, I don't want to play. The, like, I'm not too interested in this game. I just want to fly through it and get to the second one. And to be quite frank, I don't think alchemy is something I'd really want to spend a whole lot of time on. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this one. Uh, I know I like combat in games. That's the kind of games I like playing in action. But uh, to me, it from the review is <laughs> it's pretty much point and click and click and click and click. So uh, let's just do this. Mouse preferred. Future needs to control. It's mine. Swing camera. I'm gonna just want more strategic over free for battles. Blah, 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 blah. Keyboard and mouse controlled. Yeah, let's do keyboard and mouse. Ooh, nice little art there. This is a lot like the Mass Effect... Mass Effect 2 drawings. Probably done by the same person. Uh, like, I don't know if... Uh, yeah, this area here, if you can see the mouse or not, I don't know. But that reminds me a lot of uh, old screensaver I, or wallpaper I had of Mass Effect. The northern kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving Ellen and Dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering, what had happened to the witchers? I don't know. I've been wondering too. The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year 1270. Five years after the Great War. Geralt, Geralt. Oh, snap. And that anybody who uses AutoCAD, oh, snap, should be a familiar term. <laughs> I hear this game is pretty dark through most of it, so that's kind of a bummer. Maybe it's a little gloomy. But whatever. Where am I? Everything's all right. I've no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. I would have something funny to say, but I couldn't think of a reference. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> I'm still trying to think of one. Who, 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 what's his voice sound like? We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Kaer Morin. See, that's my problem with commentaries, is a lot of it, just, you gotta be stupid. You gotta be funny stupid and reference a lot of crap. That's what a lot of people do. They just say whatever random crap comes to their head, and they refer it to... Hey, that's Brad Garrett from Everybody Loves Raymond. Like, I could do that, but that's just, to me, it's just stupid. So, I don't know, I don't know, I'll probably end up doing that anyway, but... Let's well, there we go. So, ooh, look at this nice, broken-down castle used by human soldiers on the... Just, just barely surviving near the end of the Great War. I'm getting some horizontal lines. <laughs> kind of distracting. I mean, it looks nice, We're but home. just Leo, distracting a bit. Get Triss. Oh, Optimus Prime. Dang it. I could have said that. 
I am Optimus Prime. Your time nears its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. <laughs> oh, they're witchers. They're all witchers. Wrong. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette parry. always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Uh, are we into a mature segment Not already? Much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. Shirt was bouncing way too much it, there. I feel a bond when we speak. I know you were important. Geralt, we go. Birds. I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kermoran. It worked! Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? That path? We don't know what's down that path. Wait for the rest. He's alone. <laughs> the professor promised 50 orange for every freak we kill. He's mine! Ooh, he's powerful, but we're gonna be much more powerful as time goes on. Vesemir, we got company. I'll run in slow motion. I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. Okay. I hear this whole first bit is pretty boring. You gotta play for a while, and then it'll start getting really interesting. Um, okay, wow, that's really sensitive. Point and click. Point and click. Wow, this is just so exciting. And over the shoulder mode, move using WSA to keys, rotate the camera by moving your mouse, press on hold shift to unlock and freely move the cursor. Okay, who am I going after now? Okay, this guy. Dang. This is really boring. It's just click, click, click. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know like a who new the man. intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kermoran. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other <laughs> possible passages to the upper courtyard. See, the only thing I hate about commentaries like this is I just feel the need to rip on the game because that's what everyone does. It's just We just make jokes and crack jokes about the game. And that's probably what I'm going to end up doing, but honestly, I want to enjoy the game and like it as much as possible. What a conundrum. Is that even a conundrum? What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battle. Where the heck did they get that? Why didn't they send what it in that? first? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. And bald. <laughs> Hey, 
They're coming up here. Get ready. There's more. They're entering the upper courtyard. The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. The pirate magic. guy. There's a sorcerer among Jim. them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bells in the upper court. Oh, exactly. Just the Ezio, thing. Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. We still don't Lead know who the mage is. Here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits. The one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. Thank you, Cat. Follow me, map park to find quest objectives. Tip left click on the map icon, press the indicative map view, blah 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 blah. You don't need to know that. So point and click to dominate. You squeal. Chain attacks. I figured that's what I had to do. Click on the flaming sword. Ah. <sighs> Wow, that that is just brilliantly boring. <laughs> Mess with me and die. See the thing I I said I didn't like uh God of War earlier. See the first one it was pretty much press square square triangle, square square triangle, square square triangle, square square triangle through the whole freaking game, so I mean, how much, how different is it from just clicking, clicking, clicking? I mean, in, in the end, all we're doing with all these is pulling a trigger or clicking a one button or another, but when it's just the same thing used throughout pretty much the entire game, that is just awful. Force me to change it up. Make make me use different things against different enemies. Even old 2D platformers are more exciting because you had different enemies. Some you could jump over, some you had to wait, and they would throw different combinations. So you'd have to time everything just right. Use the fast dial to beat agile opponents just side by clicking cat icon. Okay, I'm pressing X. All right. Strong, because wolves are known for their strength. <laughs> Not bears or uh, uh, ox, just a wolf. To toggle active pause mode. Wow, okay. So like Mass Effect 2, we press the space for a lot. Oh, I probably have to use strong against him. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I I'm not even clicking again for another combo. I just want to click once and be done with it. Yes, yes, yes. This, oh man, I can't believe I'm gonna. I'm, so, I'm glad I put it on easy because that just reduces the amount of times I gotta click on these guys. Oh, no. 
Run in slow motion. Run in slow motion. Oh. That would have been awesome back in 2008. <laughs> no way through here. Follow me. Back to Savola. Aren't you like a mage? Can't you conjure up some bricks? I'll make you squeal. Or maybe not. Oh, that's right. We've got to go to wolf style. Wow, that was awesome. Cat style. I'll make you squeal. I mean, this is as. Oh, jeez. I know it'll get a little more complex than this, but I have a bad feeling it's just gonna be. Go to cat, now go to wolf. Now go to cat, now go to wolf. Because that's what I'm doing now. Why would anybody watch this? <laughs> I'm not gonna show you any cool things because I'm not. I'm gonna miss them. You'll regret the day you were born. I'm not gonna be that funny. I am not gonna show you how to play the game well. Who knows? I don't even know why I play games. I mean, just why am I playing a game that I'm not even that thrilled of playing to play? What a life I lead. Left click on the winch to open the gate. Press alt to highlight. Okay. That's great. I gotta, wait, I gotta. Hmm. I know there's an option to make it always display useful objects. Nah, I don't want to throw it on. I want it to look pretty. Dang! Uh oh. Damn it, Geralt. It's a miracle you're alive. I know, you clicked so well. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, witchers. They're here to rob you. Triss, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Triss may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We should not turn just kill our backs him. on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you King dealt Friday. with mages. <laughs> Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. <laughs> we'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Oh, I don't want to make this too chair. Okay. What? Satchel icon, Thunderbolt potion. Okay. Okay, Satchel. Where is my Thunderbolt potion? I can't dodge or parry. I don't even know how to do that. Uh, 
Okay, whatever. It's about time for me to quit. So this is a good stopping point. I gotta, I gotta go <laughs> do the many things I do. That that will, uh, this series might be broken up a bit. But I hope I can save here. Save here. Yeah. And we'll see what happens next time.